Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to measure capacity. First, let's revise what we learned in the, in the previous videos. In the previous videos, we learned how to draw length and weight, how to measure length and weight, and how to convert length and weight. So in this video, we're going to learn how to measure capacity. First of all, what is capacity? Capacity is any substance which takes space or volume, which in the substance can be a gas, a liquid, or a solid. But in this video, we'll focus on liquids. So, what unit would we use to measure a very small unit of cap a very small unit of capacity? Well, for that we use milliliters. To get the idea of what a milliliter is, this spoon with milk inside it is approximately three milliliters. If that didn't give you the idea. This small bottle of medicine would be around, would be 5 milliliters. Like over here, it's written 5 milliliters. So, now, what unit would, but imagine now that you have a bottle in front of you, a bottle of water. You want to know how much water there is in there. We'd use a bigger unit because if we use milliliters, it would be too much. So, we're going to be using liters. So, this small bottle of water would be like one liter. If that didn't give you the idea of a liter, or if you prefer Coke more, this bottle of Coke would be around like two liters. But now, imagine there's a very big pool in front of you, and you're about to swim in it. But before you swim in it, you want to know how much water there is in it. We can't use liters because a pool is a very big unit. So we'd be using kiloliters. To get the idea of what a kiloliter is, this Syntex water tank would be like 8 kiloliters. But if you would want to swim in the pool now, this Olympic-sized pool would be around 2,500 kiloliters. So I hope that gave you a, the idea of what a kiloliter is. Now, till now, we have just seen three units of capacity. Milliliters, liters, and kiloliters. But there are more units of capacity, that's right. So let's see a few more units. So these are the units of capacity. First of all, we have milliliter. Then we have centiliter. After that, deciliter. And in the middle, liter. We have decaliter after that. And to get higher, we have hectoliter. And finally, we have kiloliter. But what if you want to convert a kiloliter to a hectoliter? You're going to have to multiply it by 10. If you want to convert a kiloliter to a decaliter, you're going to multiply it by 100. But if you want to convert a milliliter to a centiliter, you're going to divide it by 10. What if you want to convert a milliliter to a deciliter? For that, you're going to Divide it by a hundred. Now let's see what uh, what gadget we use to find capacity. Well, we can't measure capacity with a weighing scale nor a ruler. Not a ruler nor a weighing scale. So that's why we use a volumetric cylinder or volumetric flask. So now let's, we know what gadget to use, but how do we measure it? So over here, we have a volumetric cylinder with some water in it. If you look closely, the water is up at 350. So that means the water 
is 350 milliliters. So now let's see what our examples are. So here's our volumetric cylinder and our RNG is up to 400. So our answer is 400 milliliters. Now let's see how much water there will be in this volumetric cylinder. Our apple juice is up to 200. So our answer is 200 milliliters. Now let's see our exercises. How much water, how much coke will there be in this volumetric cylinder? It's up to 500. So our answer is 500 milliliters. Now let's see how much water we'll have in here. We have it up to 300 milliliters. So our answer is 300 milliliters. So in this video, we learned how to, how to measure capacity, what the units of capacity are, and we learned how to co convert capacity. So thank you for watching this video and be sure to subscribe and like. In the next video, we'll be learning how to, how to solve interesting word problems. So thank you for watching this video and be sure to watch my next video. Bye-bye.